One of my favorite prayers is the prayer asking God for revelation and for wisdom, which Paul prays in the book of Ephesians chapter 1. He writes, I keep asking that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that you may know him better. So many times I'll, I'll, I'll pray for my friends or family, and I'll pray, God, give them a spirit of wisdom and revelation that they may know you better. And again, knowing God is not just knowing about Him, but it's about knowing Him. We can know about people, but there's a difference between believing things about a person or knowing things and, and really knowing somebody. Just like the way that I, I got to know my wife. Uh, before she was my wife, she was beautiful, and I thought, I want to get to know her. And it's been one of the greatest things I've ever done in my life. So it's great to not just know about God, but have a spirit of, of wisdom and revelation that we can know Him, that we can know Him and His Spirit and the resources and things that He wants to give us. But then Paul goes on to list three different things. And this is what he says. He says, I pray also that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which He has called you. So this is one of the things that His Spirit will enlighten our hearts that we will know the calling, the destiny, the things that which He has called to us. A hope which is huge that gives us great ability and great strength in our life today. But not only to know our calling, our destiny, the hope to which He's called us, but also the riches of His glorious inheritance in the saints. And what's so special about this text is that He speaks about the, the, the riches of the glorious inheritance, but it can also be translated that we the saints are the inheritance of, of God. So, in other words, God has an inheritance for us, but we are also an inheritance for Him. He longs for us. We love God because He first loved us, and He said, I want you so much that I am giving my Son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for you. That is how valuable, valuable you are. Just like the, the, the parable of the, of the pearl. A man went and found a, a, a pearl in a field, sold everything he had so that he could have that field in which the pearl was. So God has given everything so that he could have us because that is how valuable, how, how, how significant we are to him. But then it goes on and speaks one more thing and it says, and his incomparably great power for us who believe that power is like the working of his mighty strength, which he exerted in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at the right hand in the heavenly realms. So there's one more thing that it says that we can get to know. The destiny, the calling he has for us, the inheritance that he has for us, but also the incomparably great power of the Holy Spirit, the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead, is the spirit that can now live inside of us. And, and, and death, that is something that's actually pretty impossible to conquer unless we connect to the Spirit of God, the Creator Spirit, which raised Jesus from the dead and that says today, no matter what difficulty, what circumstances, what sickness you may face, greater is God, greater is His Spirit, which is within us than the problems and the circumstances we face. So again, I can highly recommend meditating on Ephesians chapter 1 verses 14 through 21 which speak about our us receiving a spirit of wisdom and revelation to know God not about him but know him that we may know our destiny our calling that we may know the inheritance that we are for him and that he has for us and that we can know the incomparably great power which is within us that power that raised Jesus from the dead is the same power that wants to enable us to share his love, his life, his power, his kingdom to the people around us.